Welcome back. Here we go with another court case. So this is going to be fun. Uh, this one is called Two Girls, One Jailbird. And it says Judge Manning gives a piece of her mind. I'm curious to see what this one's about. Uh, I'm watching these for the first time with you. So this is truthfully a reaction to this, this video. And I hope you enjoy it. Let's don't waste any time. Let's go. This character. Need you to turn your camera on. Need it. Both y'all's cameras on so I can see you when you swear yourself. All right. Y'all swear for her testimony. Both of you raise your right hand for me. Y'all swear for her testimony you're about to give in this petition for a TPO is the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. Yes, ma'am. Yes. All right. So, gotta put this. One lady is going to be a witness in the waiting room. All right. Uh, Ms. Carriker, do you have any witnesses? I do not. I have evidence that I can present for myself. All right. All right. And Ms. Arnold, that's your only witness, right? The one I just put in the waiting room? Yeah. All right. Uh, all right. Same thing, right? All right, go ahead, Ms. Carriker. Let me know. Go ahead and tell me what's, what's going on. Start with the most recent event and work backwards, okay? Okay. So the most recent event will be on the date of May 23rd, 2021. Um, about around about 7 p.m. or 8 p.m., I started receiving a lot of phone calls, a lot of text messages, and strange guys visiting my home. I asked one of the persons that were texting my phone, how did he receive my number? He advised me that it was an ad on Craigslist. Okay, hold on. Let me ask somebody a question. Does this have some? Is there a man in the middle of this whole thing? It is correct. So was it somebody's boyfriend at one time, and now it's somebody else's boyfriend now? That is correct. See, the, the, <clears throat> from me watching these videos, this is what uh, Judge Manning does when it comes down to these things. She goes ahead and tries to predict if there's a man involved. And it does nothing, and she's going to go through probably talk about how it just tears tears you tears friendship apart by having the the fight over a man. And this man that's in the middle ain't here to testify for anybody, is he? This is correct. He's incarcerated. Yeah, and you two, get, hold on, hold on. Let me talk. And both of you women are doing this over some man. That's locked up. He's incarcerated now. Mm -hmm. he but, was he's just incarcerated. But, but all this is going on on some man that's not here, can't be here, locked up. And this is this is what y'all doing over some man because this man is worth. This is what she's doing, Your Honor. I'm not the first female that she has done this to in regards to the same man. <sighs> It always happens on Friday, Miss Free. It's always on Friday. I gotta meet this one man that these women decide to destroy their life because this one man's got to be amazing. That these women, these intelligent, beautiful women, decide to destroy their lives over this. I've never met him. He's never been on here, but he must be something. Because this one man don't ever show up. But these women will go and get into all kinds of trouble. Go ahead, Miss Character. Tell me about all this. I got to meet this man one day. Tell me about everything I have, bro. With one man. Tell me about it. I got to hear. So, Destiny Arnold, I'm, I'm guessing is his ex girlfriend. I've been dating him since August of last year. However, it seems as though every female that he decides to move on with, she is taunting, harassing, stalking. The young lady just bonded out of jail. From what I was told, she was incarcerated for the last 16 months. Since she yeah, has bonded out, she has been an issue for me since she's been out. I don't um, know what she's done to you. I don't care about her bonded out of jail. So there was a cocktail bomb thrown at my home. I have a fire report. Also. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's a real serious accusation right there that we've got a, a bomb thrown into her house, man. Wow. Uh, I hope she's got proof of that. Uh, at least proof 
that this destiny, Arnold did it? On Mar on May 23rd, 2021, there were strange men showing up at my home because of an ad that was placed on Craigslist by Destiny Arnold in which she stated that I was looking for a man to come and take care of me. My mom had willed the home to me after she passed away and that I need someone to pretend like they love me so that I could stay away from her man. <laughs> I also have text. Oh, so that, that's how you know it was that she posted it because that's what it said. Oh yeah. And her name is stamped on it. I have the evidence. Okay. Can you show it to she me? Also listed that, she also listed that information on Facebook as well. My personal did, info. Did you email me that evidence already? I did. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. So when they started showing up and calling and texting, like I said, I had. Wait a minute. I want to, I want to know, <clears throat> I understand. Uh, how did we just go? How did we go? How did we jump past the the bomb, the cocktail bomb that was thrown at her house? Why did we skip over that? I'd like to see evidence of that this woman did that. I, I mean, I don't want to pass that by because that's a serious accusation. I mean, all this this Facebook stuff is that's just petty, childish bullshit. But the bomb thing, that's serious. No idea what was going on. I had one guy to send me whatever ad he was talking about. She's on Facebook stating someone, anybody call this person's number, say what you want, say what you will. And then let me know what she says. She was paying people to text me and to call me, to harass me. She also texted me from her phone number stating that she would not leave me alone if I can't stop bothering her man. So me and this man went out of town to Alabama. I received a text message from Destiny that stated that I was going to get enough about bothering her D word. I don't, you know, we can't say it in court, but she told me that I was going to get enough. And she asked me, does she need to pull up to 30 Atlanta, Georgia, 30354, which is where I reside. I come home from out of town and find my bushes burnt. When the firefighters came and the detectives came, they discovered a Snapple bottle with thongs inside them, doused in gasoline, and they had been set ablaze. Okay. And this was after she sent the text message asking, do she need to show up at my house? I did not have any address on Destiny at the time. All right. What are we going to do? <coughs> I mean, what's the pause for, man? Let's go. Let's get it. Anything else? Everything else is in the evidence. This has been going on since January. And it's, I'm Ms. Arnold. It's, it's okay. getting to be very dangerous because it was it was kids here when this happened, and I I can't I can't play with life like that. I'm sorry. All right, Ms. Arnold, go ahead. I'll hear from you. Okay. Um, I'm I don't know anything about an ad on Craigslist. She did have a um, I guess a, a police van or something reach out to me about a fire. I had no knowledge of a fire until that person had reached out to me. Um, just this past weekend, um, Miss Character called me and she was cussing me out and she told me about this court date. I was never served. So that's the only reason I'm here because she called and told me. So, um, the the man that all this is supposed to be about, you actually have met him before. She had him arrested. I'm not exactly what for, but you was his judge and you denied him a bond. But besides all of that, this has been going on since I've been released. He told me while I was incarcerated that he was homeless 
and he decided that he wanted to live with this lady. But when I was released in January, I mean December 2020, he um like really packed up his his stuff and left. And that's why all of this been going on. Me and him, um, we moved into his grandparents' house and started in January 2021. She initiated contact with me and I did excuse me, I didn't know who she was. I just know I was receiving messages on Instagram. Somebody asked me, like, what's up? Like, where you at? But I'm like, I don't know this person. But um, around January 20th, 2021, I was at a doctor's appointment with um, the guy in question. And she came to that doctor's appointment, um, basically making a scene. And I did not um, confront her or anything. I stayed in the car and um, she recorded my car when she came out here and she put it on her Instagram page. So then that's how I was able to link those messages um, to her. Like now I knew who she was. So um, after that, um, Every time we made contact, she basically had initiated it. When I was in, um, when I moved to the grandparents' house with the guy, she came. I was trying to get the police report, but since I had such a short notice, I wasn't able to get it. But she has came. Um, I was actually sleeping. I take medication equipment at sleep at night, but she she came to the house trying to fight me, but I was sleeping. Then nobody woke me up. They were trying to um get her to leave. She would not leave. They had to call the police. Okay. Does 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 she have a report stating this? I mean, <clears throat> this is what gets me about this right now. Uh, you know, this it's a bunch of accusations right now. I mean, I don't, I mean, do you have a police report to prove that this, that, 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 that this woman comes in your house or, or when you were at the daughter's office that the, you know, she was outside your car, wouldn't leave you alone and all these things. Or did you take out your, this is what gives me also people have, people are constantly for years filming stuff that goes on. You could have videotape tape this lady. Uh, well, not videotape, I guess, I, that, that dates me saying that you could uh, film what's going on and 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 have a record of it. Uh, it's, right now, it's just accusations. So, in February two thousand twenty-one, um, her and the guy had an incident where I, no, was, I, I will talk. She says you're stalking her. I don't care about her right here. I matter of fact, oh, okay. Um. I'm just trying to um speak speak on the facts because I'm I'm not stalking her. She um she repeatedly she's okay. He he I don't know if he hit her, but um there was a police report filed and um he she had charges put put on the guy and she basically told him if he doesn't entertain her as girlfriend, that she was going to take that police report and turn it into a warrant. And that's what she did. Um, on April 2nd, she, um, she posted and the guy had a sex on her Instagram. Um, on April 6th, this young lady went like to like a blogger. She went live with a blogger. She had the blogger had like over 40,000 Instagram followers. And she called me out saying um, basically that she wanted to fight me and she did not know what me and Mr. Bridges was. That's the guy. And um, on April 16th, 
she said that she was able to find an address on him and um, it came okay. like me, but, but go ahead. he got arrested this this is what she said her plan, her plan was she said she was gonna separate us by playing with the police and she said that she will have me arrested and then when i'm arrested she was gonna go drop the charges on the man and then she said that she was basically gonna blackmail him into being with her so i just feel like this is her plan to try to get me locked up some kind of way where, where, where's all this at? If this is the, if this is uh, true, why hasn't she? Decide, why don't she have footage of this? It, you know, you can go on <clears throat> Instagram or any app, and you can screen record all of this if this is the case, and it would be a part of your evidence. Right now, you're just spouting shit out of your mouth. There's no evidence here. It's just hearsay. It's, it's, it's. Where is the? Why don't? Why didn't you screen record this? So, the only reason why they had given it because I was in jail, and she wants me back in jail, basically, so she can, I guess, have him without me interfering. But ever since um January up until. The weekend I just passed, she's been initiating contact with me and she's been telling me she wants to fight me. And that's not a person that's afraid for her life. She's on several recordings and I sent them as many as I could find um, to your case manager. All right, anything else from you, Ms. Kira? Um, Thank you. Um, Judge Manning, yes, you do. Um, you have met Jacarlos, and the date that's in question, which is January 19th, the date that she was at his grandmother's home. I had his daughter, his daughter name is Rain. Destiny Arnold has a restraining order, she cannot be around Rain. She was yeah. so the day that I was at his home, I was bringing his child to him. I also placed that in the evidence as well. All right. Anything else you want to tell me? What is it you're wanting? I really want for her to, she needs some, she needs help. She needs help. She needs help. Let's she see. Needs help. Look, Miss Orr, what is it that you're with? Well, it you're with I, I need for her to stay away from me. I need her to stop with the fake pages. I need her to stop contacting me. I need her to stop creating new numbers, new pages just to contact me in regards to Giacarlo's. I've I've never been around her, Your Honor. I've I've never been within this is the closest I've ever seen her, her face. I've you literally just said a few minutes ago that she was at your car when you were at the doctor's office. I mean did she not just say that? Never seen her before. Yes, you have. You just saw her. You saw me at the chiropractor's office. So did you see me or you didn't? Thank you. Okay, stop, 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 stop. I don't know if everybody's listening because see, no bad worth all this. Y'all realize that look, people going to jail, getting locked up, and and last time I counted, there was more than one man out there. Way more than one man out there because on the elevator this morning, I passed at least four or five in the hallway. At least four or five men did I pass in the hallway. And uh, Miss Free, did you pass a few in the hallway? Okay, so I know that's at least 10. So there's at least 10 more men available instead of this one that you two women are fighting over. And now everybody's going to jail, getting locked up. Now y'all are sitting here in front of me. And this huh. one Friday, Miss Free, we're gonna have it where two women don't get over here and fight over one man and they're destroying people's lives and get off social media trying to destroy one another <coughs> because it's out there. So, Miss Owner, one day you're gonna have a child, and now Miss Carefree's gonna have a child. And guess what? Their children, y'all's children, are gonna be online one day, and now that's on there, they're gonna see all this stuff. 
They are going to see all this stuff online that y'all have posted online about one another. Y'all ain't thinking ahead of it because one day, you know, go look in the. Go you know, Candace Morgan up there in the right corner is up there trying to fix her hair. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you could have done that in the mirror, girlfriend. I look at the mirror right now and say, I'm forever going to be young. Guess what? I thought so too. This gray hair came off quicker than I thought. Oh, God. Looking at I see my father every time I look and I listen to myself. I hear my father too. I regret this one day. Thank goodness they went social media when I was growing up. But y'all are destroying each other over this man that ain't gonna that, that look the way he's treating someone to y'all, whoever he's treating he's dating right now, look at who he treated that way in the past, because that's gonna be you in a month or two. And it's gonna keep going on and 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 going on. So look in the past. If he ever asks you to marry him, he says he's been divorced, go ask him what county he got divorced in. Run to the courthouse and look at his divorce papers. Because that's going to tell you what's going to happen if y'all get a divorce. See if it was contested. See what kind of paperwork he filed. Go see his divorce lawyer. <laughs> do what you got to do. Look into this man. Oh, Lord. But let me tell you, if they, look, I, if they some woman that's acting this crazy over him, then something's, then he ain't worth it either. Because she coming with some baggage. But that's all I got to tell you. Y'all put your emails in the chat for me. Miss Arnold, you your witness done gave up. No. Um, well, okay, she so don't have what is what is what is what your witness is going to tell me, Miss Arnold. First hand, what is she going to tell me? That you ain't stalking her? No, basically, when. Um, what when is your witness going to tell me? She called me. She, she's been with me at times, and she hear her saying, like, oh, where you went? I'm going to come fight you. But, like, I'm provoked at all. But, I mean, I believe you. I believe both of y'all have went toe to toe. Mm -hmm. I believe y'all have there, under the piss there, on my mother's grave. There ain't a doubt. There is not. I got this, Miss Character. I got this. There ain't a doubt in my mind that y'all have went toe to toe. Not a single doubt in my mind y'all went toe to toe. Nope. Not a doubt in my mind. But I don't need to hear from anybody else that y'all went toe to toe because I'm not a dummy. But y'all gonna stop going toe to toe today. So put your emails right there in the chat. We're going to send you copies of this order. Ms. Character, you can pick up your certified copy today. I mean, to Monday. Keep this other copy with y'all. Leave one another alone. And the best advice I can give you is, come on, if you can't find another man somewhere else, there's plenty of them out here. Look, I'm looking outside the window. I see some right now walking up and down the street. Find another man that ain't taken by somebody else or got 20 other women looking for him and stalking him. Because I ain't bringing, up, bringing stuff up on you. Miss Arnold, he ain't you done been in jail. It probably had something to do with this man. And wasting your money at Georgia State ain't gonna do you any good if you sit here convicted of felonies. She just did 16 months behind the same man with a different woman. That's I why got I, want this. I got this, this Miss Character. I got this black robe on, and I'm at work. I get to talk. When I'm at home, I got to shut up. All right. Yo, All right. Put your emails in. That's it. So what'd you think about that one? That was pretty interesting. Uh, you had this, uh, the two women fighting over one man, uh, petty stuff, accusations of cocktail bombs and, uh, catching bushes on fire with thongs or some shit, uh, making Instagram, uh, pages against each other, uh, all kind of stuff. It was, I mean, uh, the TPO was granted. They're no longer to be around each other or speak to each other or make Facebook pages about each other or Instagram. So that one was pretty interesting. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, till next time. See ya.